mental fitness should be at the heart of armed forces training and support, Prince Harry announced today as he launched a new partnership between the Ministry of Defense and his Royal Foundation. The Royal said servicemen and women are prized assets which need to be continually invested in and should be thought of as high-performance athletes carrying their kit and a rifle. Prince Harry and the Defense Secretary will today launch a new partnership to improve the mental health of all armed forces personnel. Pick.twitter.com 82XSWCOONX, Kensington Palace at Kensington Royal October 9, 2017 The former army officer, who spent 10 years in the forces, said during his time as a soldier physical conditioning was important, with troops warming up before a run or a loaded march, and the same approach should be applied to mental health for servicemen and women. Speaking at the project's launch, staged at the Ministry of Defence in central London, Harry told invited guests who included Defence Secretary Sir Michael Fallon the military has faced the challenge of dealing with things like post-traumatic stress, anxiety and depression. Prince Harry arrives at a defence to speak about the importance of mental health support for the armed forces. Pick.twitter.com XL2DKPHCXN, Kensington Palace at Kensington Royal October 9, 2017 But, like many of you in this room, I have come to realize that we can all do more to promote the positive management of our mental health and, in doing so, help prevent some of these issues before they develop, the Press Association quoted him as saying. This is what the partnership between the MOD and the Royal Foundation is all about, placing mental fitness and mental health at the heart of the training and support provided to the entire defense community. Prince Harry said fighting fitness is not just about physical fitness. It is just as much about mental fitness too. Pick.twitter.com says 4 Eve 7 NV, Kensington Palace at Kensington Royal October 9, 2017 The joint initiative between the Mod and the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry comes days after the foundation announced it will invest £2 million for the creation of a startup company providing digital support to youngsters concerned about their mental well-being. The partnership is the latest in a series of royal efforts to promote greater understanding and openness around mental health through the work of the Foundation's Heads Together campaign, launched in May last year. Discover the impact you have had by being part of the national conversation on mental health greater than httpst.co 4 ad 6 lhgpfj pick.twitter.com 4 eastmig heads together at heads underscore together October 8, 2017 The mod said the move will build upon a recently launched government strategy aimed at improving mental health in current military workers, civilian staff, their families and veterans. The Foundation will now offer advice and resources to improve training, education and information sharing for the whole of the armed forces. Tobias Elwood, Minister for Defense, People and Veterans, who served with the Royal Green Jackets, said they were hoping the new project would create a cultural change within the armed forces around the issue of promoting mental fitness. DefSec warfare is often seen as battles of the body, but it is also a battle of mind. Pick.twitter.com BOMR, Ministry of Defense at Defense, October 9, 2017 He said I remember my time in the armed forces, I did a little bit of bayonet training then we were told to think about the consequences of stabbing a sandbag, and that was as close as we got until the next step and we're on the battlefield. We have to bear in mind, I was told this grab a man suit and suck it. Up, these were the phrases that I was shouted at by a color sergeant. It will be very much through the NCO's non-commissioned officers that we hope that this will embed itself.